God, he showed me, you have my self-control, Lisa. You have my power within you. So you can do this. This is not from your willpower. This is my power. That was huge in helping me make a change. I really never had a point in time where I thought, oh my goodness, I need to lose weight. It was something that was always in the back of my head. Started working long, long hours. I was very focused and dedicated to my job and eating out a lot. I would drive through on the way home from late nights at work, or we would order in food at the office because we would be there late. And I got used to eating bad foods all the time. And I enjoyed that lifestyle. And I enjoyed being able to get Starbucks whenever I wanted, every single day if I wanted. And all the whipped cream on top or um, whatever kind of takeout I was going to grab because that was easy and that was convenient. It just was gradual and it just happened slowly and so the weight just kept creeping on. At one point I probably went over about 200 pounds and thought, wow, I can't believe I've gotten here. I never thought I would. But then it kept going and it went well beyond that. I got to a place where I really was never very happy but I just, you know, I just didn't want to make a change. I was too comfortable in that lifestyle. It was too hard to make a change. And I, I really had to pray that, God, I have to learn how to trust you and I have to let this go and let you do this for me because I can't do this myself. And I finally had to relinquish control to him. I tried a number of different programs and would lose the weight. And But the second you start going back to your old habits, it comes right back on. And I knew it was gonna be a harder sacrifice. I didn't even wanna try for a long period of time, and I, I didn't. I'd go periods where I'd think, I'm just not even gonna bother. It's not worth it because it will end in failure. So why bother? There were a lot of tools that have helped me along this journey when I finally decided to make a change and that I wanted it to be permanent. And one of which was a book called Made to Crave by Lisa Turkhurst. Um, a friend recommended it to me who had lost some weight and it taught me a lot about loving God over and above the food and gave me lots of scripture references that were tools to carry me throughout my days. Another tool was Weight Watchers. I thought it was a good program for a lifestyle change and something that I could maintain because I knew this had to be not a diet, but an actual lifestyle change. So I have lost 120 pounds as of this morning. I feel great. I feel healthier than I ever remember feeling. I feel better and I feel stronger and like I can be used in more ways. When I set out to lose weight, it really was not solely for the purpose of losing weight. God had really pricked my heart that there was more ways that I could serve if I was healthier and help me see my body as His temple and if I'm going to be used by Him, I need to take care of it. I felt hopeless. I felt like it was impossible, which is partly why I didn't want to try for so many years. And I learned that anything is possible with God and that if you really just put your trust in Him, it is possible. I never would have thought I'd be sitting here 120 pounds less. God has brought me someplace that I just never imagined I would be.